What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. So I actually went back and watched that, and, uh... Yeah, man, things are crazy different in the heat of the moment, because I hit that dude for... 700 damage, majority of his health. Um... He was, like, like his health was actually... <laughs> it was below full, and then on top of it being below full, I hit him for, like, 394, and then, like, 764. Well, I mean, the cumulative was 764, but yeah. I'm sorry for accusing you of cheat engine. It looked like you had a lot of health in the heat of the moment, when in reality, you were just getting stomped on by some overpowered piece of shit using thugs. I apologize. Smelter hammer? Jesus Christ. Fire Drake. So of a lost undead. Dwindling. How many loots? Peasant long gloves. What is it? Hurts. Where's his hood? FG. This is gonna really suck. Like, poison is hurting a lot. Bleedstone is simpleton spice. The water arm. Hello, epitry boots. A crossbow. Corrosive urn. Please stop, guys. Guys, come on. I'm already dying to the poison super fucking fast. Could you not attack me right now? There's so many damn loots I gotta pick up. Hollow soldier helm. So here, you piece of shit. I asked you fucking nicely to stop. Dorgo's hat. I night chainmail. Boots. They're an arrows. Effigy. Fuck. Like, this is gonna be the hardest area in the game for me, I think. Just because I don't have enough, like, poison removal. Oh my god. Yeah, Gavlon does know me. Gavlon, give me all of- No, I need more! I need, like, every single one of these. Gavlan, you're a dickhead. Why are you jacking the price of these up to 1500 Fucking asshole. It's like he knows we're in an area filled with poison, so he's like, Yeah, what's a fair price? Mm, how's 1500 sound? And I'm like, what? Gavlan! That's... And he's like, that's supply and demand, asshole. Gavlan wheel. Gavlan motherfucking deal. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck Christ. Poison again. I'm just gonna run towards the bonfire and just die and pick up my souls. It's not worth using another one with the extremely limited amount that I have. Shittiest way to die. It's kind of sad when you think about it, how, like, poison is so fucking good in Dark Souls 2 and in Dark Souls 3. It's like, oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? It looks like my health is slowly draining away. Please don't stop. And in this game, you get poisoned, and you're like, Holy fuck, I gotta get out of this! I need to cure it! Jesus Christ, I'm dying! Finding twinkling tight night for days out here. Fucking dozen sorceresses. I have a distinct hate for them. After having to fight the, uh... Pyromancer Chloe in Dark Souls 3. Overpower piece of shit. 
Like, they're annoying in this game. But, like, Pyromancer Chloe, she's, like, next level, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh my god, yo, fuck you, lady. Like, mm, do you enjoy my skeletons? Enjoy you dead. The best thing about the fugs, the whole uh, lock and swing, love that thing. Why? We thought it was a good idea to keep all this poison next to the bonfire. This is going to be a very real concern with getting... I know there's a number of different loots that are... You know, you can only get them... Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. Not one of them. Curved Nail Greatsword. Oh, that's the one that I, the one I think it is. Yeah, that thing looks so badass. That's the one that, like, it's only really good if you're in, uh... If you're in, like, New Game Plus 6 or Plus 7 or something is where it starts to scale. So, news completely unrelated to Dark Souls. If you guys haven't checked it out, I started playing Persona. Cool game. Liking the story. And news related to Dark Souls. Um, they're finally pulling the Demon Souls servers offline in February. Kinda shitty. But, I mean... It's not like things last forever, so... I mean, I guess we, we all... Oh, you asshole. I guess we all knew it was happening someday, we just... I want to think about it. Another curved no greatsword. So if I kill the third one, is he also going to drop a curved no greatsword? Um, and a news that's kind of like Dark Souls, but not. The U on PC is fucking fantastic. Like seriously, if you if you come to my channel for Souls content and you love Souls and you love the difficulty of Souls, not the pace, because Neo is much much faster. But if you like the difficulty and the challenge, highly highly suggest you check out Neo. It's on PC now in addition to PS4. Incredibly good game. The late game is really nothing like Souls. The late game for Neo is uh, a lot more reminiscent of, say, Diablo, for example, because it becomes very grindy. And, like, just by the nature of it, you know, it's like, uh, it's all about, like, getting loot and, and getting the next tier of loot and tearing up and getting more and more loot as you level up, etc. Like, whereas in Souls, you know, you have, like, you know, New Game, New Game Plus, New Game Plus 2, etc. And it's, like, a little bit harder. You know, going from, like, Way of the Samurai to Way of the Strong, you're like, okay, shit's serious. And then you go to Way of the Demon, and you're like, okay, this is a bit much. And then you go to Way of the Wise, and Way of the Neo, and it's like, just fuck me in the face, fam, why not? Like, Way of the Neo is the equivalent of, like, Dark Souls New Game Plus 20 if scaling didn't stop past New Game Plus 7. Like, everything, everything is like, you're my bitch. Why can't I hit this fucking guy, dude? Yo, this little shit. Come on, man, I want another Curved Nail Greatsword. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can't. I can't see anything. This is where I die, guys. This is it. Oh, oh god, I made it out. Oh god damn it, again?
that was one of the changes they made with Scholar that I'm not a fucking fan of. Those goddamn, like before, it was tricky to see in the poison tunnels. Now, shit. Better off just putting on a fucking blindfold and feeling for the walls. You know what? While we're on the the on the topic of like games that are Souls-ish, when the fuck are we gonna get an announcement about Bloodborne 2, man? Like we know that that From Software has been working on a couple different projects, and one of them is it's not. I don't know if it's gonna be a direct sequel or not, but it's said that it's supposed to be you know something that's kind of similar to the the Souls Bloodborne type formula. Where it's you know extremely hard game, high difficulty, progress is not easy to make. It's hard to see you behind me. a little bit closer and hit this for me. Thank you. That was cool. I've never seen that guy get flung out before. Ah, oh, slab. Hell yes. Ring of Evil Eye plus one. That's actually, uh, something I... Mm, I don't know. How badly do I want... I mean, no. Loot's randomized anyway. Lion Clan Shield. Skeptic Spice and Ladder Miniature. Is that always right here? and a bolt stone. Radiant life gem. Let's just follow the messages. And ow, there's assholes down here. Not okay. Might as well get our Estus back. I did need a slab to upgrade a weapon to plus 10. While using Petrified Dragon Bone, I got one now. Single file, step on up. And a dumbass. I'm in fruit. My leggings. Two of them at that. Mira Greatsword. Isn't that like Dex Greatsword? This. It's the one that has the, uh, 
Now one of these paths has a uh, little guy, doesn't it? Try jumping in short secret. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That's the not great shield. I think that's everything here. We're good. Check that I hit everything. So fucking dead right now. Wow, fat boy. This thing is just like, I'm gonna nibble on your ankles, don't mind me. She's got to go. I don't even think I can kill her. I think that's a you fight her later on type deal. Maybe. You stop running at me like you're about to swing it? Holy shit. Why don't we ever get that weapon? People would love to just have... Yeah, I just want the giant fucking hammer. doesn't even really look like a weapon, it's just like a giant blacksmith's hammer, but way bigger than it could ever be practical. make it all the way to, uh, to Poison Lady, but we'll at least push through and get into the tower. Is there anything I did? There's one big fucking loot that I missed. Lightning clutch ring. That's all the clutch rings now. Damn, this guy's fucking hard. Supposed to go up over here? I don't think I am. Oh god, I almost fell out of the hole. No! So close.
giant's kinship? Isn't that... to go fight, like, Ashandra? Hold on. Yeah. Used to gain access to the second boss fight at the Throne of Want for the Lord Soul and Ashandra. This item is necessary for completing the game cycle gained upon killing Giant Lord. Wow. Okay, so, uh... You can definitely fucking, like, miss stuff. That is a 100% needed to finish this game item. And I just got it joining the Sun Bros. Just goes to show you, y'all, always praise the sun. Like I, I don't know what I want to do here. I'm almost better just stop at Mannequin Man. It's almost better just coming back here. Um, we're this way. Okay, dumbass. Yeah, it's almost better just waiting until. Um, would you not do that? until after I drain the poison to go get this loot. Oh shit. I guess the fire, uh, helped to poise break him. Thanks for that, lady. She was just blowing me a kiss. So I said thank you. Ring of Thorns! I remember that was like fucking stupid OP. Like, when it first came out, everyone was like, fuck, I'm bringing the one. Like, if you were wearing it PvP, you were getting hate mail and shit. I always hate this jump. Mostly because I'm just piss poor at making it, but... <laughs> you know, I'm not even gonna be mad about that. That was just... I was like, oh, wait, wait. Oh. If I just hit him once, I can uh, do a repost during the stagger. Motherfucker. Big boy go. Oh, here he is. He's just coming slowly. Ow! Alright. 
Yeah, got it. All right. Yo, don't you get all uppity just because I bumped into you, you little prick? Oh, fuck you, dude. So they're like, what the fuck is hitting me? I know I'm avoiding the trap, but no, nope, just an asshole mannequin. Isn't the chest also a trap? out in a second. That's not. Great sword plus three and promised walk of peace. That's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, this... Yeah, plus three, huh? Promised walk of peace. If I remember, isn't that like the... I think that's the everyone's gonna fat roll spell. Not even fat roll, it just makes everyone like super fucking slow. Sunlight Blade sent out a tweet the other day. He was asking people um, if you could fight a Souls boss in real life, which Souls bosses do you think you could win? And a lot of people went, they're like, oh, well, I could, you know, am I allowed to have guns? Because I'll take out Nameless King and I'll take out this guy, I'll take out this guy. And, like, I think most of the people that, that were replying obviously completely missed the point of the post. And it was like, you know, in, in a canon Dark Souls setting, like, Let's say you're dropped in souls. Who do you think you could be? You know, given your your strength, your dexterity as a person, not fucking magical stats like in Dark Souls. Shit, no, is this a mimic? Oh god, it's not for a second. Oh, that's a trap! But anyway, so a lot of people were like, oh yeah, I would take out this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and I'm like sitting there like reading through replies like, yeah, these people think they're fucking like Jesus or something. It's talking about how he's gonna kill Nameless King with an Uzi. Like, no. Dude, he would fucking murder you and your stupid little weep self. But the one boss that I figured I could actually beat in real life, just given who I am, is this fat fucker. Just because he's so slow. Like, I feel like, given the opportunity, if I had, I would, I'd obviously be given, like, a sword or a mace or something. But I could, like, roll and avoid that stuff and just wait and kind of watch him and be like, fuck, 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 the fat guy's coming and run a little bit. And then like one big hit, you know, but like he, in general, he's not like, he's not a bad boss. Like, he's just, he's slow. He's very slow. And his only real threat, most of the time he does that and he misses you completely. I think if a real person were to fight the Souls boss, the Covetous Demon is the most likely one to die to a person IRL. And no, you're not allowed to use a fucking Uzi or a shotgun, you dumb piece of shit. Question was, if you were in a Souls environment, not if you went to a local save and shoot and picked up every fucking AR they had in a bunch of ammo, and then you were in a Souls environment, Because he's a big fat dude that doesn't really fight back. I have a feeling that most most humans, faced with a fight or flight situation, could probably just beat that pulp thing to death. But anyway, we're gonna wrap things up here. Go back to Majula, spend some souls, and obviously we'll be tackling Earth and Peak in the next episode. So. Thanks for coming by once again. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. I know I'm having fun with it. And we will catch you next time with more Randomizer Runs.